So this is Radio Cardiff, 98.7 FM, and on DAB, and for Cardiff Fire TV as well. I'm at the Ice Arena Wales with head coach Ellis Shepherd after a, a defeat for the Cardiff Fire. The winning run is over a 5-2 defeat against the league leaders, the Haringey Huskies. Shep, your reaction to a, to a competitive but tough night tonight? I think it's a difficult one to stomach, if I'm honest. I think uh, we played through a lot of adversity through the game. Uh, I can't fault the boys' work ethic and battle, um, but we're not going to win games at four guys for probably three quarters of the game. Um, I do think that some of the calls maybe were a little bit lean to soft and we didn't get the rubber to green. Um, but yeah, we just have to try and convert those when we're against the adversity. Haringey looked a, a good side from the off, um, took, a, took a two goal lead. You must be proud of the way that the boys composed themselves and quickly got that back to 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, the boys worked hard tonight. Um, they left everything on the ice just before the Christmas break. And yeah, I'm proud of them. And like I said, it's just it's just one of those nights, unfortunately, where the rubber green doesn't go our way. So that second period where there are a lot of penalties, um, perhaps some controversial calls as well, that must really have disrupted your flow just as you got back into the game. Yeah, I think uh, we, unfortunately, we, we trust our depth, but sometimes we we use our same guys a little bit too much um, for the penalty kill, and maybe we should have rolled it a little bit more, but it's just because it's so disjointed because of the penalties. Um, we seem to kill one, and then another one would uh, pop up straight away, and it's, yeah, it's difficult. Haringey are a good side. They're the league leaders. Unfortunately, they've put that winning run that you pulled together, those three wins together to to pay tonight how important is it to, to start the new year afresh and get back on those winning runs again yeah absolutely we've got Lee Valley first I believe on the 15th and then we have a huge double header against Bristol and Peterborough respectively um, we've already taken the two points off both of those oh, well two points off all three of those teams and uh, we want to do the same um, and then we've got the double header at home which uh, the club are putting on some special ticket prices as well be great to see the the arena it was a good atmosphere tonight good crowd tonight be great to see fans coming down for that double header as well yeah absolutely like I said before there was a sixth guy out there tonight it was really good to see um to see a uh, AFC Lan in here as well that was really nice to see and uh, yeah we can't thank all the fans enough for the support I mentioned for Martin as well I believe his last night with the club tonight after four seasons off to join the Navy word for what Martin's done for the fire over the last four seasons yeah Martin's been a stalwart he's very reliable um, he's definitely a big miss but yeah we wish him the best and Shep Carwin Jones picking up man of the match tonight he's had a couple recently a, a great performance from him at the back in difficult circumstances at times with, um, with fire having so many penalties against them yeah absolutely Carwin um, Carmen really thrived tonight I think uh, he knows a few boys from Harringay from roller hockey and I think he had a point to prove and yeah he did he played really well Shep not the fires night tonight but we know you'll bounce back commiserations yeah cheers thank you